Things are looking good. The voodoo boys and fucking drug heads are gone. And I heard someone took out old Don Giovanni's whole private island. Yeah, with those pendejos gone, there's a whole lot of business for those matadores to take care of. Hey, it's gonna be the highlight for us from now on. Hey, amigos! Yeah, let's go! El Hango saw the decimation of Neonopolis' other gangs as an opportunity. He did not realize it merely meant that he was next on the hit list. With his newfound wealth, he bought himself and his matadors exemption from the pre-dawn curfew. That kept the normal citizens off the streets. But that just made it easier for the monster hunting him to stalk its new prey. I hear King Willy didn't die along with his voice, so maybe some other servitor survived too. Keep your eyes open. So let's come back to the crowd. I got the feeling one of those ghost suited voodoo assholes is after me. I'm going up to the crib. Put the word out. Quick, I ain't got much time. He's almost fucking with us. Warn the dealers to watch out for trouble. Sure thing, jefe. Los Maradores, they are here to stay. Don't you worry about nothing, okay? Hey, hey, it's me. Look, the boss just came in, okay? Looking real jumpy. It looks like someone's not happy we're taking over. So keep your eyes open. Anyone gives you any shit, you take them down, all right? Attention, all citizens. The curfew is now lifted. Have a nice day.
But now the invisible demon's progress up the food chain of Neonopolis was to bring it face to face with a predator of a different sort, in the form of Bruno Borgia's granddaughter. The man who broke and tamed this city would have been so proud of my dear Lucretia. <laughs> 